hey lovelies welcome back to my channel my name is joanne today i'll be showing with you how to cut this beautiful top you're seeing here if you're new to my channel you're very welcome please subscribe to this channel like and share this video thank you so let's start so this is a pattern i'll be making use of i'll go ahead and take the measurements so right there i've already taken the bust measurement that's the nipple point measurement the under bust measurement the half length which is 16 and the top length so for my nipple point measurement is measuring 10 my under bust is 14 the waist measurement the half length is 16 inches and the blouse length is 19 inches so I'm going ahead now to connect the lines together like so after this I'll be taking two inches above my nipple point measurements which will serve as my chest line measurements so that is measuring eight inches Then I'll go over to take my shoulder measurement. My shoulder measurement is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8. So I'm marking it on the starting point and on the chest line. I'm now using a ruler to connect the lines like so. So next I'll be taking my neck measurement which is 3 inches. I'll go over to the shoulder and come down by 1 inch for a shoulder slope. And I'll just draw a line to me to my neck measurement like so the next thing I'll be doing is to impute my dart so my dart measurement is the distance from one from the my nipple to the other which is eight inches I'm going to be dividing eight inches by two which will give me four inches so I'll go ahead and connect the lines together like so then on my post point line i'll be coming down by one inch then on my length i'm coming in by half of an inch and going up by half of an inch i'll be connecting the points together to form my dads So after I'm done with that, I'll take my entire me armhole measurement and divide that measurement by two, coming by half of an inch. Then go over to my bust line, my chest line, and take my bust measurement, which is measuring 10. Then afterwards, I'll be connecting those points together from the point around my bust area to me to my armhole then i'll go all the way up to me to that point like so hope you understand what i just did there i'll just blend that line so the next thing i did there was to divide where we have that armhole curve and the straight armhole I'm going to be taking the entire measurement around that area and divide by two and I went ahead to mark a straight line to me to the ammo curve so next I'll be taking the neck depth and in order to do that I came down around my chest line I came down by half of an inch you can go deeper if you want it depends on how you want your cleavage to show and for this tutorial for this top I wouldn't want my cleavage to should be exposed that much so i'm going to come down by half of an inch you can go deeper by one inch 1.5 it totally depends on what you want and i went ahead to connect that line to me to the neck line like so the shoulder line like so so i'm going to go ahead to make a curve around the under boss i'm going to go ahead to use a curve ruler to connect half of an inch I imputed 
there and I'll repeat the same thing. I'm going to make a curve. I'm making a dotted line because actually my curve ruler is broken. So I went ahead to make a dotted line around the underboss at first. Then I'm connecting like so to meet to that point around the armor. So next I'll be taking in my allowance, my sewing allowance, which is two inches around the boss area. So I'm going over now to mark my waist measurement. I'm taking my entire waist measurement. Then I'm dividing that measurement by by four. Then I'm measuring the dart intake. Then I'm going to be replacing my dart intake and add two inches seam allowance. Going over to my hip line, I'm going to be dividing my hip by four. Then I'm measuring that dart intake to replace it. If not, your outfit will fit i promise you that i assure you it will fit you have to replace the dart measurement so i'm going over now to connect the points together please while you're connecting exclude the dart you don't need to mark draw from the dart you don't need to make a line from the dart exclude the dart and connect only your seam allowance your sewing allowance like i'm doing I'm making a blend around the waist area because I noticed it was too sharp right there. So next I'll be doing is to label the the boss side and I'm just making an arrow there to remind me that this is a side and here is the center so that while I'm cutting on my fabric I don't get confused. So next thing I'll be cutting this out. At this point, we're already done with the front pattern. And please watch while I'm cutting it out. So next thing I'll be doing is to tape the front and the side and the center together because I'll be cutting off the down part just to have this back shape you're seeing here. On my waistline, I'll be coming down by half of an inch. You could do one inch if you so wish, but I'll be coming down with half of an inch. From that point, I'll be marking, drawing a straight line to me to my center front like so. So guys, the shape is already out. I'm going to go ahead to cut it out. So this is how the front pattern is looking. So for the broad side, for the breast side, I'm going to be taking the entire measurement around the shoulder and whatever i have i'll be dividing that measurement equally so the reason i'm taking this measurement is because i want to slash and spread this if you check what we have on the top pattern around the bust area there's a gathers if you notice there's a gathers around the boss area so in order to have this gathered effect we have to slash and spread 
this bus side like what i'm doing so uh, in each of the measurements i'm ruling a line across the busts area like so after that i'll go ahead and slash the pattern i'm going to slash it and spread it I'm using my scissors to cut it but I'm not going to cut it through. I'm not going to cut everything out. So I'm going to be cutting other lines. Please don't cut everything off. Just cut the way I'm cutting. So this is how it's looking when i'm cutting on the fabric i'll be spreading that to cut on the fabric so it will give me enough allowance around that bus area for me to be able to gather them so this is how the front pattern is looking guys so i'm going to go ahead to cut the back pattern so i'm measuring from the starting point i'm measuring my chest line which is eight inches i'll be measuring my half length which is 16 inches and the blouse length which is 19 inches so i'm just repeating what i measured this other side i'm connecting the lines with my straight ruler So at this point, I forgot to mention that I had already marked, since it's the back side, I'd already marked the zipper allowance, which is 1.5 inches. You can go as far as 2 inches. So I just took the shoulder measurement, like what I did to the front, which is 8 inches, 16 inches divided by 2, 8 inches, and I marked it across. So for the back, I'm going to be taking the neck measurement which is three inches for neck width and i'm coming over to the ammo line to mark come down by one inch to slant that measurement to me to my neck line so here i'm going to be dividing this measurement by two and whatever i have i'm going to be marking that point there and i'm going over to mark my bust measurement which is 40 inches divided by 4 10 inches and i'm adding two inches seam allowance for sewing so from that point i'll be making a curve to meet to that point along my armhole like so next i'll be taking in my dad's which is four inches four inches all around so i'm going to take four inches uh, on my chest line and i will be connecting the lines with a straight ruler on my chest line i will come down by one inch i'm going to come in by half of an inch on my hip line and go in by go out by half of an inch then i'll be taking in my dart like so so after i'm done with that i'll take my waist measurements and whatever i have i'm going to be marking that take my dart measurement and replace it then add extra two inches sewing allowance then on my hip line i'll do the same thing take my hip measurement whatever i have i'll be adding that i'll measure my dad and replace it there then i'll add extra two inches seam allowance so i'll be connecting those points together
so at this point if you're still watching i really appreciate you guys please give this video a thumbs up share this video and subscribe to this channel thank you so much so on my neckline i'm going to be coming down by eight inches for my neck depth like so just to meet to my just to meet that my chest line i'll be coming down by eight inches and i'm just connecting it to me to my shoulder line so guys i'm done with the back measurement i'll go over to cut it out So what I did for the front, I'm doing for the back, coming by half of an inch. Had already taped the back side together, the center back and the side back. I came down by half of an inch and I'm just going to make a slant to meet to my center front, my, my center back. So I'm just going to go ahead to cut that out. While cutting it out, if you notice, I tucked in the zip, the zipper side, so that after cutting it out, I don't run short of fabric around that area. So guys, this is how it's looking. This is how the back side is looking. It's looking very, very fine. And I'll just go ahead and place it down for you guys to see. This is the front pattern. So I'll just go ahead and label everything. I'll be labeling the back yoke. I label that as the back yoke. So this is the zipper allowance. I measure the center front as the center front, the side front. So this is the side, side back. At this point, guys, I'm done with this tutorial, and I'll be cutting this on my fabric very soon. I'll make a video of that. So stick around, guys. See you guys in my next video. Have a nice day. Bye.